Hello boys and girls, today I'm going to test out this new feature of Cossack 3 as a spectator. So, I have joined a game between Colorfit and Vadon, and they are playing the tournament settings for this game. We'll see how it goes and I will try to spectate. Let's try these features, when I can switch from one player to another one. Seems like this works, but um, there was a hotkey for hiding or showing the map, yes, exactly, this one. Okay, so now I can see what Baton sees, and this way I can see what color fit sees. So far, working good. Let's see if I can select buildings. Yes, I can select buildings. Let's see if I can make some orders. No, unfortunately, I cannot make any orders. So far, so good. Colorfit is uh, rushing for two down holes and uh, one barracks immediately. Bazaar, which is Algerian market. Production of peasants started. Pikemen are going out. Now let's go back to Baton. We have same thing from Baton, but Baton is uh, slightly behind on construction, I think. Unfortunately, we cannot see here what the player is trading on the market. And instead of uh, Pikeman, no, uh, actually. Okay, so Baton is going for double production of Pikeman and Archers. And a couple of these light infantry is probably to use them as drummers. And Diplomatic Center is going immediately. How about Color Fit? So Colorfit already has Diplomatic Center, he hired about 10 Siege Cossacks, uh, a couple of Archers and then Light Infantry units, but, but from the barracks he is hiring only the Pikemen, but no Archers. And this, yeah, this barracks is also working for Pikemen, producing Pikemen. Uh, so these Siege Cossacks are running, uh, how many? Just 6 of these, let's see if Colorfit left any on the base, yes. And four here, so yes, it was ten Siege Cossacks in total. <laughs> so Colorfit expanding uh, his map visibility using this. Okay, so here are, is a nice stance between Siege Cossacks. Let's see how many Siege Cossacks here Baton has. So Baton has slightly more Siege Cossacks, it's 30. That's why Colorfit is running off. Here are <laughs> four more. Or how many? Yeah, four more Siege Cossacks running. And co I think Colorfit is not controlling them well, because otherwise he could capture that gold mine, although it's not yet constructed. Instead, he decided to kill some of these peasants, which we are going to the gold mine. And now uh, Baden is trying to defend himself with uh, his, his own Siege Cossacks. And here is a Spach. No, it's Mamluk. It's Algerian, Mamluk, uh, Spaha, Polish, uh, sorry, Turkish units. Uh, this means Baton already has a stable. Yes, he has a stable, and he's putting this Mamluk for protecting his gold mines. And he's upgrading the gold mines. I just heard the upgrade sound. Which mine it was? Probably this. Yeah, probably this one. Some more Siege Cossacks are coming, and uh, somehow I missed what happened with these Siege Cossacks, but these are coming back, and uh, probably just killing Baton's units to reduce the map visibility for Baton. Meanwhile, Baton is leading slightly on points, and Colorfade is rushing for the first attack. Let's see uh, how many upgrades Colorfade has for his pikemen. And Colorfit does not yet have stables. So, no upgrade so far, and right now Colorfit just starting to upgrade uh, his pikemen. This little formation, including 10 archers, are slowly advancing towards Baton's base. I'm not sure if it's a nice tactics, because Colorf uh, Baton has much more units on his base, and uh, he also has stables, and he is producing these Mamluks. So, I don't think this will bring Colorfit anything, yeah, but I was wrong, Colorfit is actually able to 
burn up a gold mine, which is nice. And here Baden is losing his Siege Cossacks. So for Colorfit it was more like exchange of his archers for Baden's mine. And that mine, I'm not sure if it was upgraded or not. And of course in this situation Colorfit has nothing to do but retreat. Otherwise he, his formation will just die for nothing. Yeah, these pikemen are much stronger than Siege Cossacks. Uh, let's see if we have any more upgrades. So it's 4th level and 5th one is going for the next upgrade. Meanwhile, Colorfit also has got his uh, stables and started to produce Mamluks. No, this uh, mounted units recruitment speed upgrade. No, no. And here are light infantry units of this. Yes, mercenary, light infantry. Baton is unhappy about something, but I'm not sure about what. Maybe because Colorfit took over, uh, it took him over by points, or maybe because of the Siege Cossacks are killing the Mamluks one by one. Uh, these Mamluks are not very strong when they are not upgraded, and uh, Colorfit is just killing them one by one, so not very nice for Baton. And here Colorfit is making a, another tricky maneuver, just uh, taking a piece of Baton's army off, off the base. So then Siege Cossacks could run to the more or less empty base. Let's see what we have. So potentially the Siege Cossacks could run through over here and kill some peasants. But Colorfit does not see what's happening there, so he decided to retreat back first. And now going through wrong direction. Now turning, let's see if Colorfit will be able to run into the base and kill some peasants. Yeah, Siege Cossacks are running right into the base, but Baton sees it and then he orders his peasants to attack, while peasants are... Uh, much stronger than Siege Cossacks, and they are playing without capturing peasants, so it's not a big deal. Meanwhile, Colorfit is trying to capture this gold mine, but Baden took out his peasants, so the peasants died, but the gold mine uh, survived. And now we can see that almost all military units which been over here are gathered to this place just to finally read all these siege cossacks and now we have a third level gold mine with the no peasants means 10 peasants being killed let's go back to colorfit and see uh, so this drummer is spotting everyone who is coming from colorfit to baton so baton knows about this approaching formation this is formation with uh, some mercenary light infantry units and pikemen so, how about we check the pikemen upgrades? No, nothing so far. Sixth level of fifth level of attack and fourth level of uh, defend for color feed. How about Baden? Um, Baden has fifth level of uh, defend and fifth level of attack. So, uh, it's one side or other side. Not enough resources to get 6th level of both. No, sorry, 5th level of both. Um, so now Baden is probably starting to think about ammo for his grenadiers. Yeah, this explains why he's building the coal mine. And here he builds another mill. And of course Algeria is... Uh, Eastern nation, so it's always problems with the dwellings, so you have to build more and more of these houses. And those grenadiers should be good against siege Cossacks, but sometimes it's useless when there are just a few of them. Why? Why Baton decided to send his Mamluk to just die there? And another one, probably, I think probably he has the gathering point for his uh, stable somewhere there, which is not good. What about Colorfit? Colorfit is trying to surround Baden's base. <laughs> we can see that Colorfit's Mameluke 
almost entered base, Baton's base, how many are here? 18, 18, and Colorfit is sneaking and stealing these two gold mines, which is a very important extra resource, just like every resource comes here. So light infantry, 120 formation, and uh, 36 pikemen. How many of these? It's too bad that we cannot make formations of 20 horses. Uh, otherwise, it would be uh, like another formation of horses. But currently, it's just a horse. So, here, Baden is, lo is losing another uh, small tactical battle. When Colorfit's uh, Mamluks killed uh, in, a, in a bunch, they killed uh, Baden's Mamluks one by one. And now, when Baden decided to attack, Colorfit is retreating. And while he's retreating, he is entering Baden's base from the top. And Baden has hired uh, some dragoons. Let's see how many. Just six dragoons? No, um, it was um, it was not six dragoons. It was se seventy something dragoons. Just his shirt and dwelling, so the dragoons are not going outside of the diplomatic center. Colorfit is now moving back to the base, and here Mamluks are coming. Let's see if Colorfit has any Mamluks upgrades. Yes, Mamluks are upgraded to the fourth level of attack and defense. Pikemen unchanged, and let's check for Baden. Baden does not uh, does not upgrade his uh, Mamluks at all. And now this big army just left base, so the base is basically wide open. Please welcome to my base. This is what Baton is saying because these units will not be able to get back in time. For sure, Baton here will lose at least a, a gold mine. Yes, but this blow up will, was very costly for Color of Fate. It was 120, it was 120 light infantry units and only about uh, 95 left. So it's 25. Light infantry units plus a couple of pikemen died for this mine blow up. But this mine was captured by Colorfeed, and Colorfeed has got some uh, peasants. So, what do we see here? I think it's uh, probably GG, although Beton will be able to recapture his base probably, but that's too late. It was a very nice tactical move by Colorfeed and uh, and Baton did not properly defend his base. Well, I think it's over. There is no reason to keep playing. Colorfit still has something to go and finish the base, while while Baton has some armies to defend. Is Baton actually going to attack Colorfit's base? That could be, but. I think I think Colorfit will be able to defend himself because currently Colorfit is getting the dragoons, about 130 or 120 or something dragoons. Game lag. Well, for sure, Baton, you always have something. And in one time I don't have base. <laughs> well, for sure, yeah. So Baden is complaining about the game lag, and then uh, when he sees something, uh, he doesn't have the base. Yeah, so Baden surrenders. Uh, I think the key feature in this game was the two gold mines and just tactical moves by color fate trying to split up enemy forces and destroy enemy base uh, let's uh, see the statistics so color feed was developing his economy through food which is not a surprise exactly the same thing was bait on doing they have got the axe upgrade about the same time then some more extra Food upgrades, and then Colorfit has got one of the stone upgrades uh, because Algeria and Turkey is very important 
uh, when you play as Algeria or Turkey, it's very important to get a lot of stone. That's why it's more efficient to collect stone rather than buy it. So, what do we have here? How many food? 300,000. But Baton has got just 200,000. This is probably due to slightly later food upgrades for Baton. For example, these, uh, I'm not even sure, those upgrades, but, well, probably not due to upgrades, probably due to Siege Cossacks killing a lot of peasants, which been harvesting food. Now, uh, what do we have for wood? Wood 59, about 60,000 of wood for color feed and only 20,000 of wood for beaten. This is a gain. Uh, because of the lack of peasants probably. Uh, let's see how many peasants, 183 and 238. Is it because Colorfit has got another town hall? Yes, Colorfit has got three town halls, while Peter had also three town hall, but probably a bit later. So, well, a nice small game, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you next time, bye bye.